So this is it late. Ignore outside my window, it snows in August where I live. It has been a busy year, but a fantastic year. And one of the big reasons for that being the final BronyCon. And they went big. Over 10,000 people attended this year, nearly double the amount of people last year. And man, was it crowded. Add that with a whole extra day and night of non-stop fun and madness, and you've got yourself one heck of an event. So what are we waiting for? We've done enough waiting for this already. Let's go. Right off the bat, just as I was entering, I ran into an online friend and member of the collaboratory, Top Shop. Yeah! yeah! Are you ready? Yeah. Hi everyone, I'm Top Josh. I'm oh. a PV editor, so yeah. Same thing with Ian as well. So, yeah. Oh yeah. This plate those crowd like I just walked in and just found him. I um, just ran into him. So it's awesome just sitting around. Just hang on. What? This is what you see as soon as you walk in. All right. I'll see you later, man. See you later. It was a delight to see him after so long since last con and was a great start to a massive weekend. And speaking of running into online friends, I finally got to meet an awesome friend for the first time in person. We've been looking forward to meeting each other in person for months. And that moment was... memorable. spent time at the con together for nearly all four days, checking out panels, vendor halls, and filming his awesome music video for his cover Are We There Yet, which I've linked in the description and highly encouraged to check out. Of course, before all that insanity, we headed out to see the opening ceremony with a Gaten friend MC Arc. This of course featured the fantastic recreation of here at BronyCon, which I'm still trying to find to this day. Someone please help! Not to mention this musical gem featuring Gilbert Gottfried. With all my friends to celebrate my wedding vows, they may not bring for me at all. I could care less about a dress, I won't partake in anything. Vows fell on mine when I say that though any kind of weather, I want us to be together. The truth is, I don't care for him at all. Oh, no we will make you get a merry, a very shining armor will be my own mind. Boy, didn't that look crowded. Yeah, didn't help when the vendor hall was in a smaller room this year, since the usual floor was completely taken up with Rubik's Cube. I'm not kidding. Still, we eventually squeezed in and saw some... not inappropriate pillows... Uh, art! Really nice, innocent art, as well as some interesting things, like this robo-pony. Plus, 
the only thing I bought there and the best thing I got to remember the event. A signed physical copy of Black Griffin and Phase 6's latest album. And it was awesome to see him in person again. Not to mention seeing them at Pony Palooza. Don't worry, we're getting there. There's so much. And of course, outside the vendor hall, there were tons of really fun panels to check out, like the PMV contest. There, it was wonderful to get to hang out with so many members of a collaboratory again. And there was quite the surprise to find out who got first in drama. What? I mean, those sounds of someone freaking out like a maniac could have been anyone. Well... I freaked out more when I found out who won best in so. Fun fact, last year, Cole and I were conveniently sitting right next to each other and both placed top three in drama. And I found this war to be some of the best I've ever witnessed. Seeing him win best in so this year made me so happy. Anyways, between panels, there were tons of fun things you could do around the convention. Like the arcade room, which had some fun tournaments for them's fighting herds, Beat Saber, and let's not forget the chaos of GarageBand. Right, speaking of music... Brony Palooza! With an extra night added, there was an extra night of Brony Palooza. And if there's anything we know about my video logs, is that they have a lot of Brony Palooza. And the best thing is that most of these artists I've never heard before, so it was a great introduction to them. Wow, I need to catch up. Starting off the night with Faulty and Pegasus B2B, a very fun and sweet sounding group. Following up with the amazing John Kenza, whom was joined with wonderful artists such as the lovely Forever Free Brony and even a Gaten.
next night, we were introduced to Chainsling. Man, his music takes me back to early fandom. However, one artist whom I've never heard before but was told was amazing was Violet Pony. And it was an understatement. Her performance was like the brony equivalent of Porter Robinson, and she was having just as much fun up there as we were. I also love how she took full use of the projectors to their potential. By the way, there is a lot of Violet Pony. And finally, for the final night, we were given the treat of the amazing Black Griffin, Bostic, and Michelle Creeper. However, I didn't get much of their performance, as I wanted to focus more on enjoying their show rather than recording it. But the build-up was epic. How are you feeling tonight? Here we go!
Unfortunately, the final night was the final night, and I had to say farewell to everyone I hung out with there. From the awesome GX to everyone in the collaboratory who was there. Guys, I wanted to thank you guys all for just like, just, it's awesome just to see you guys all for one last time, and it's just, just hug! Yeah. Hey. How did I get in the middle? <laughs> <laughs> we'll get him more in the middle. We can still hang out on Discord though. Oh yeah. yeah. And but honestly guys, so you guys have a great summer dude. You too. You guys seriously Ian. Congratulations, yeah. congratulations by the way. I'm really fucking proud of you. Dude, thank you so much. Thank you and congrats on first Woo. place. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Congrats on first place, Ian. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. you guys honestly were a big part in helping like pushing me towards like getting to that next level. Yeah. yeah. Like but like oh, thank you guys so much though. Oh, you guys all have a great coming up to Thank you. Dude, you, uh, I just thank you guys so much. And bro, Jack. Hello. Uh, bro. Yep. Uh, you have a great con too, though. Man. Uh, a great summer, man. Uh, it was just, it was so great to see you guys for like one last time in person, at least. I mean. See ya, man. All right. Yeah. Put my name right here. I'll say it right next time. Say that right. I'll, I'll say it correct. Correct, Jared. <laughs> got it. Yeah. Nice. I got it. Okay. Uh, nice. See you guys. To sadly even a gate then, though it won't be the last time we see each other. All right, guys, this is it. I'm oh. about to say goodbye to my oh, only you. friend here, but he's such a pussy. <laughs> no. Guys, yeah, these these last four days with them was awesome, and I hope you enjoy BronyCon as well, man. Dude, it's so awesome to see you. Oh, oh, yes, yes. <laughs> all right, all right, guys, but don't forget, check him out, subscribe to his channel. He makes some awesome stuff, man. Same to him. Yes, all right. Hey, guys, we see you maybe at the next BronyCon, or maybe together sometime in America. Like I said, and I'm a Gaten. That's La I La 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 Ian. M.A. Larson. <laughs> And we see you guys next time. Guys! Yes. Now I gotta go off to my ride. But by the end of it, I've honestly felt very satisfied and happy with all the adventures we shared throughout the years of BronyCon I've spent. And throughout those years, I've been gathering autographs from a variety of awesome people in the community. Check it out. We got Josh Scorcher. We got Paleo. We got Black Griffin and Basic, of course. We got Pika Petey. We got Michelle Kreber. We got Bibi Reverie. We got AC Race Best. We got Little Psy. And we got Prince Whatever. Look at that little crown. And of course, let's not forget all the incredible cosplays all around the convention. Begin montage. We're not done. 
before I go, I've got a big announcement for the future of this channel. Next year will be the year of my last solo PMB. For now. Basically, before the end of 2020, I will be releasing my final solo PMD before I take my break. I'll still be free to do collabs, and of course my channel will be jam-packed with content aside from PMDs in the meantime. There is a near 100% chance that I will be doing full solo PMDs again with the next generation of MLP Sparks Inspiration. Also, keep in mind that I'm not just doing one solo PMD next year. And while a lot of you subscribe for my PMDs, I do hope that you stick around for the ride, as there is a lot that I want to do and expand upon, and I'd love the feedback. Thank you so much for bringing us this far, and for nearly reaching 300 subscribers! Oh my goodness! Let's keep it going! And thank you, BronyCon, for all the creative, fun, and memorable adventures that this community has created. We have come so far, and are still going strong with our creativity, love, and passion. Thank you, and have a wonderful 2020. You and I, we've been through it all. Is it time to say goodbye? Dry your eyes. We have been together so long. Is it time to let go? Apart we grow. To go on living I need to try things And be on my own We'll always be friends We'll keep our distance We'll be together From afar forever